Hi, you Seven. I'm back. So I am going to be doing a little story time from someone who wrote me and asked me for advice and they gave me permission to talk about their situation as long as I don't mention their name. So you know who you are. So this lady, she's like 25 years old. She was really spiritual into yoga, meditation, you know, loving for the right reason and finding you know someone very compatible who felt the same way and so she got involved with this guy um, his wife had passed away you know earlier and he had two, like two kids but he was into the same sort of stuff she was you know they connected on a spiritual level they were into the same thing and you know they fell in love or you know stuff like that and you know things were going good for a while and then slowly he started like depending on her and asking her to do stuff and pay for stuff and watch his kids and go half on the groceries or you know pay for you know uh, this and that and not paying on dates and stuff like that um, and plus he's older he was older than her he wasn't younger than her or her age I think he was 44 and she was 29 and so one day she was just like fed up she's like you know what I'm too good for this you know I'm like I can be with a guy my own age and struggle you know and pay for my own stuff at least he'll be younger and more energetic and you know lively so she was like you know I'm done and so she kind of kicked him to the curb and he wanted her back and she was like well you know I'm wasting my life with you you're you don't treat me special you want me to pay for stuff you're older than me you want me to watch your kids I'm only 29 years old I don't have any kids you know I'm not gonna be stuck here with you you're a loser you know love is not enough anymore I need more than that um, so basically she was like I'm done you know uh, we might connect on a spiritual level you might be into yoga and meditation and stuff like that but I need some more you know I can't deal with this you know especially from an older man who's supposed to be more mature and responsible you know so she left him um, but the moral of the story is sometimes love is not enough. Sometimes a spiritual connection is not enough. Sometimes understanding someone and getting along with someone is not enough. You need finance. There is no romance without finance. A man can't make his woman feel special or feminine if he's not doing anything for her. If she's paying half the rent, half the groceries, half this, half that, that's a roommate. That's not a man. Okay, um, so she didn't feel appreciated, loved, respected as a woman. She didn't like, he didn't make her feel special anymore. It was just like he was kind of using her. So she was like, forget you. I'm going to find me a real man. If I'm going to date an old man, he's going to at least have some money. Well, I don't know if this is what she's thinking, but this is what I would be thinking. I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to date an older guy, he's going to have something. Okay. Uh, I might as well be dating somebody my own age or younger. You know, if I'm going to have to take care of somebody, they might as well have a six pack and, uh, you know, be a part time model or something. You know, at least I need to get something out of it. I can't date no guy who's old, aging, depressed, not wanting to do anything in life, sucking up all my life. No, I got to go. So, um,. You know, when this happens to a woman, they're like, please, I could do so much better. Um, you know, and for a older man to ask a younger woman to do these things for him, it's kind of, uh, you know, a sign of disrespect. Like, he's telling you, you're not worth anything. You need to take care of me, even though I'm the older person and the man. You're absolutely nothing so you need to take care of me you need to be you're lucky to be with me okay no it doesn't work that way uh 29 year old uh woman with no kids she has her choice okay she can go and find a rich man like that especially if she's not very materialistic and she's spiritual and you know into her thing but now she's going to leave wiser now she's going to look at the financial situation before she gets involved in a relationship because she knows there's no romance without finance okay you can be in love all you want and when that in love feeling starts to wear off and his hand starts coming out more and more asking for this asking for that 
that will dry up any type of romance any type of love really quick and it's going to get old fast so i'm pretty sure now she's going to aim for more financially stable men before she even commits in a relationship and she's not going to feel sorry for someone because they lost someone i mean they're a grown man she's not going to uh make you know excuses for that man anymore because what he's a grown man so she's going to probably choose wise next time when she chooses a partner make sure that they can pay their way or even more um it's one thing to go dutch but it's another thing for a grown man to ask a woman to pay for them you know unless there's something physically wrong with that person and they can't do for themselves and maybe they're disabled i don't think that's right especially with a young woman that does not have kids i think she was wasting her time i think she was smart to break up and move on and i think he learned his lesson as well <laughs> so if you guys agree hit the thumbs up i know a lot of guys are going to be upset because <laughs> the lady got advice from me and dumped the fool which is good i don't think she dumped him i don't know if she dumped him before or after my advice but either way she dumped him which was it was good because most women will hold on to a man that's not good for them and that man will drag them down and drag them down until there's nothing left until no other man wants them and then they'll let them go and then they wonder why the woman is bitter afterwards and don't trust nobody because she stayed in a bad relationship with a man who didn't appreciate her for far too long i'm teaching women to get out when the when the red flag starts to come you know you see the first two red flags third red flag it's time to go okay don't wait don't give them the benefit of the doubt action speaks louder than words man can talk all day but watch their actions if they can't deliver what they speak about then leave because there's somebody who will believe me i know a lot of people make fun of me in the comments and say oh i don't know how she can get a rich man i can get a rich man tomorrow if i want to i can if i left my husband i can go get another one okay and that's no joke why because i have this okay it's not about this okay rich guys can have any type of woman they want that's obvious but they they can't find what i possess mentally in most women you know um and I know a lot of rich men that like women with meat on their bones. What are y'all talking about? Y'all think rich men only like skinny women? Are you serious? <laughs> Shoot, there's men that will pay $50 to take a picture of your foot and send it to them, okay? There's men who will pay $50 to, to watch you, uh, you know, there's, cra there's people with money online who have crazy fetishes who like certain type of women y'all y'all are y'all are so close-minded that y'all have no idea my friend on facebook she got married said four weeks ago to a millionaire okay and she is not what they call you know all that but she got a millionaire why because rich people are not millionaire people are not always going for the typical standard of beauty because they can get that easily what they want is something unique something special something out of the box okay and believe me I'm telling y'all for this for a reason because a lot of women don't think that they look good enough to get a millionaire believe me you are believe me I had I'm married and I got millionaires in my inbox on Facebook I'm not lying I promise you <laughs> why i don't know why it's just something about me i don't know okay it's just what i vibrate the kind of men that i attract i don't know why and i'm not trying to be conceited or anything but you know if i left my husband i could just go find another one with the same type of money and continue you know why because that's what i vibrate that's what i attract that's what i put out that's the kind of vibe that comes off of me when i go out in public like Men know not to step to me who can't afford to do this, 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 and that, A, B, C, D. They're going to see my car. They're going to see how I dress. They're going to see, you know, where I live. They're not going to, they're not going to see where I live, but they're going to see, you know, the type of things I like, what I expect. They know better than to come up to me with some crazy crap 
only men who know they can please me will approach me okay and that's how I like it and I've been married so long but I still get you know people coming up to me and stuff that's the stop in fact a wedding ring makes men more attracted to you <laughs> because they know somebody wants you and you're worth it and if they if that husband bought you this car and this jewelry and you don't have to work you must be pretty special hmm I want to see what it is you know that's why you always see those women who have married rich before only marry rich guys or richer guys afterwards because now they know their value and now the rich men say okay well she's used to the finer things she's not gonna you know she she appreciates those things so she knows about those things so I, that's what I want you know I want somebody that can relate to me so you're never you know most people don't go backwards in life anyway so and I know a lot of guys on here are saying, well, what if, what if your husband gets sick? And what if, what if he can't work anymore? You know, my husband is smart, but if he got sick, he has insurance. Okay. He has where if you get sick and you can't work, that insurance will kick in. Okay. He has savings like most smart people do. Okay. This is a 401k. Okay. He has trust funds for the kids. Okay. This is, this is a real financially stable person not someone who works from paycheck to paycheck okay this is not that okay i was smart i didn't choose somebody that if they were fired then i'm gonna have to go out and get a job no i made sure that i chose somebody that had their stuff handled from day one okay i don't play that okay i see myself as a prize and i'm not going to get with someone who doesn't see the same thing okay so Y'all can talk about me all y'all want in the comments, gentlemen. Actually, y'all aren't even gentlemen. Boys, ladies, take my advice. What you want, what you vibrate is what you're going to attract. So keep that in mind, okay? Don't ever think that just because you look a certain way, somebody won't want you. Because there's always somebody who will. Believe me. Y'all, there are some crazy people in this world. Some people will want you if you're ugly. Isn't that crazy? Some people will want you if you're f super fat. I mean, some guys just get turned on by that. Some men love BBWs. I think I heard that Drake song that he loves BBWs. I have been with a few celebrities. They don't go for the skinny women. They like real women with meat on their bones, okay? They might have them skinny women in the videos, but when you see them in the club, when you see them out and about, they got a thick, thick woman, okay? They're not, you know, I'm, I'm serious, okay? And I'm not just talking about, and, and athletes. And I'm not just talking about celebrities and stuff. Men with money, like real money. They don't want no skinny, I, and, and not, to, not to say any bad thing about skinny people because my daughter's skinny. <laughs> She's going to be skinny, y'all. Uh, but men have preferences too. Like, not every man wants a skinny woman, believe me, okay? Uh... <laughs> In fact, I used to be a lot thinner when I was younger. I get I had more men hitting on me when I was bigger, offering me more, offering me more. You know, oh, I'm gonna take care of you. Give me your bills, or oh, do you want you know you want this? Buying me gifts and stuff. And you know, it's I think it's because of my confidence, my confident level, and what I expected, not what I thought I was worth, but what I expected and I knew I was worth. A lot of men respect that. So, I've never had to deal with a broke man uh, after the age of 21 because I know who I am and I know what I deserve, okay? Fat or not, I still have the life I want, you know what I'm saying? Fat or not, chubby or not, thick or not, however you want to label all of this deliciousness, I got what I want and that's the most important thing, okay? I'll see you later.